standing ten feet further from the place that I need to be at a 401k and a so called time. I do things not in plans for me. If I work around the clock, I might just make enough to keep the IRS from beating down my dog. That's only if I still have a door that they can knock. Hard of working, slain of working anymore. Got a wife, fat two kids, and a mortgage that's closer to cold closure than I care to say. I got two stacks of bills and local bonnets getting high. Still with things I can't afford to pay. Every time I start believing that I'm finally breaking even, something knocks me down to where I want the phone. By the time I'm mine, the back are broken, the older words are left to be spoken. A hard working just ain't a working anymore. Hard working just ain't a working anymore. What used to give a dollar, I can't get a nickel for. And a handshake ain't worth nothing at the local grocery store. Hard working just ain't a working anymore. I take the job that I can take Lord, I make what I can make And not take a lot But I don't make too much And I've been driving me in this old truck Straight into the ground With a ball of right here Tired of burning my clutch Well, you sure can't do much living When you're living month to month Not knowing what it's my holding stone And I can't stand to think about everything we'll have to do without cause Hard working just ain't working anymore Hard working just ain't working anymore What used to give a dollar I can't get in the go for and the handshake ain't worth nothing at the local grocery store. And by the time of mine, the back car broke, and the only words left to be spoken. Hard working just ain't working anymore. Hard working just ain't working anymore. Thank you very much. Appreciate you guys. Hey, good morning, everyone. Can you hear me okay? Yeah. I think we're going to go ahead and get started. The, the mayor's arrived. I think we've got most of our outlets ready to go. We've got fantastic music from my friend Matt Hilliard that's happened. Thank you, buddy. I've known Matt for a long time, and his band, 1100 Springs, are great uh, ambassadors for Texas music, and we really appreciate his time this morning. Uh, we appreciate the time of a lot of people who've shown up this morning. We are at an event that is truly years in the making, and I'm personally so proud of the work that the Texas Music Office team has done, and so many people in Dallas have done to bring us to this place today. Uh, so when I stand up here with a, with a smile on my face about... Uh, this whole certification process, it's a very genuine feeling I'm feeling, and I'm so happy to be with you guys this morning. I want to take a, a brief second and thank all of our council members for joining us today who, who chose to join us. Uh, Adam Basildua, uh, Jesse Moreno, Paul Ridley, Paula Blackman, uh, Gay Darnell, thank you so much for taking time out for your days to join us today. Oh, hey, so, sorry about that. Casey Thomas, thank you so much for joining us. I thought I'd done my due diligence here. Thank you for correcting me. I appreciate your being here. Thank you so much. Uh, our first misstep of the day, we'll move right through. <laughs> so we started talking with Dallas several years ago about a program like this. The Texas Music Office is dedicated to furthering the concept that music 
and the Texas music industry are worthy of uh, greater understanding, validation, and support. Uh, the Texas music economy as a whole is an industry center unto itself, putting over 100,000 people to work daily in direct effect uh, and creating uh, almost $4 billion in earnings and a, uh, a tax advantage to the state of over $400 million. And those are just the direct effects of an industry that also culturally puts Texas on the map internationally. So what better industry to better understand, better validate and support than that? But all of these things happen locally. No great change happens unless it starts locally. And what we try to do is create a framework through the Music Friendly Communities Program that will allow these local communities like Dallas that have such wonderful champions for so many things to coalesce around these creative economies and give them greater tools to better understand uh, better hear from and better validate an important local industry like the commercial music industry. Uh, with that, I'd like to thank uh, Craig Davis from uh, Visit Dallas, the CEO of Visit Dallas, who's going to come and say a few words. We are so thrilled that this program is going to live under his purview. It's going to be an amazing spot for this program, be well supported. Uh, I, I got to meet Craig, and the, the amount of energy he's already brought is is uh, is going to be fantastic. It bodes very very well for this program. So, uh, without any further ado, thank you so much for joining. Us. Thank you, Brendan. You know, I it, I was terrified that I'd have to follow Brendan in this conversation because I just needed to come in here and say what he said and then sit down afterwards. <laughs> he explained it so perfectly, but I do want to take the opportunity to thank a couple of my um, my colleagues and staff members, Janice Berglund and Meg Gould who worked very closely with the Office of, um, of Music um, it, with the state. I also want to sincerely thank the community here. We're, we're nothing without the community. And everything that is produced is produced by the people in this room, Edwin Cannabis, and um, the other people from the task force. You guys need a better name. And, um, but the, the hard work to bring this to Dallas as a music-friendly city is amazing. And I want to thank uh, everybody who had a part in it. Um, we, so many people here from the city, um, it is just a community that has come together to get this done. So we look forward to great things in the future. I do want to end by uh, making sure that everybody knows that we have changed our name. Um, we have changed our name to the, um, the Dallas Film Commission, is now changing the name to Dallas Film and Creative Industries Office, and has put forth a brand new website. I hope you'll check it out. It's launching today. And I'm hoping that uh, we just want to want to make sure that our efforts are are laser focused on bringing more music, bringing more film, bringing more creative industries into Dallas. Um, that is dallascreates.org, so I hope you'll check it out. Thanks so much for being with us today, and thank you very much for your support of this incredible, unique uh, Dallas feature for us. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, Craig, and thank you for your vision as you continue to take Dallas into the forefront. It's going to be really fun to watch, and we're thrilled to have this program under your leadership. Thank you. I tend to sprinkle my thanks throughout my presentation, so I'm gonna add in some more. I wanna say thank you so much to the Kessler team, Kessler Presents, the Kessler Theater, uh, in particular, uh, Edwin Cabanis and Diana. So thank you so much for all the work you do. We were just in Nashville taking Texas music out of the state to show it off, and it is such a fantastic, professional, plug and play operation. So much work is done behind the scenes by Edwin and his team. Uh, we are always so grateful to get to work with them. Uh, I want to take a few minutes and echo what Craig said about the work that Janice Berkland has done. Uh, Janice and I met very early on uh, in this process, and, and Janice has found a home at Visit Dallas that I think is going to take this program forward. So thank you, Janice, for all of your work with film and now with music. We really appreciate it. I'm going to take a couple seconds and thank some folks who are really going to do a selfless task for the next few months and take our Music Friendly Communities Dallas Advisory Board to this next professional level. Uh, I know many of you, and I'm thrilled that this group has coalesced around this program. Uh, Amy Miller, Arlington Jones, Carlos Alvarez, a.k.a. the hardest working man in show business. <laughs> Crystal Perry, David Small. Good to talk to you this morning, David. Uh, Edwin Cavanis, Tammy Thompson, Trey Nigella, Trey Johnson. Uh, this is an amazing group of folks who are going to bring a tremendous amount of industry knowledge to bear to move this program forward. We are thrilled at all these names that have ended up on this advisory board. Thank you for your selfless 
uh, service to this uh, community program. It's going to be wonderful with your with your help. Uh, this is the this is a point in the presentation that I've personally been looking forward to for a long time. I had a moment to spend with Mayor Johnson a couple weeks ago uh, after we did our Shuttered Venue Operators Grant conference here, press conference here with Senator Cornyn, and I'm, I came away incredibly impressed uh, with his uh, energy he's bringing to uh, this, this leadership position. Great cities need great leaders. Uh, great cities need great vision, and I genuinely enjoyed learning more about Mayor Johnson's uh, leadership style and vision it's going to take Dallas to a fantastic new place. Uh, I, I cannot say enough about uh, the feelings I had coming away from that meeting. And it does me a great, gives me a great deal of pleasure to present this certification to you. Mayor Johnson, would you join me up here for a second? So as, as I mentioned, this moment is years in the making for us. Uh, and we are so excited to see what you and your team are going to do with the framework we're going to give you. This will be a, a uniquely Dallas program because you're a unique and wonderful city uh, run by fantastic and unique and wonderful leaders. So with that, I am so thrilled to present this certification, adding you, adding Dallas as the 29th Certified Music-Friendly Community. Congratulations. <laughs> Houston, that's my question. All right, that's what I care about. No, seriously, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Um, I want to ask some folks to, to join me up here, if, 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 that's, if that's okay. Absolutely. Call an audible here. Um, could the members of the Ad Hoc Committee on Music called Taste at the City Council, which is Paula Blackman and Gay Willis, come join me up here? And then I also need up here the representative of the district where Deep Ellum is located, which is the birthplace of the Texas Blues. All right. I need the city council's official bard, our singer, which is Adam Mazavua, to come on up here. Um, I believe, I believe, um, Councilman Thomas, do you represent Kimball High School? I do. Kimball High School is the alma mater of the Vaughn brothers, Jimmy Vaughn's alma mater. So I need him up here. And I need the man. Paul Ridley up here, where the Arts District is located. So I need all, I need, those are the people I need up here, officially. So good morning. I want to say that if any of you ever become the mayor of Dallas, you'll hear from people telling you that you know, what the city's biggest challenges are, telling you about the needs and the wants of the city, and about urgent decisions that must be made in the city. But no one really tells you about all the fun and exciting stuff that our city has to offer. And that's why we're here today. Case in point, I had on TV in my office, on our local access TV station uh, recently, um, I saw that we offer free music classes in our library. And I didn't know that. I love our libraries, but I had no idea that we were offering free music lessons. So I actually went and found a guitar that I'd gotten years ago as a gift, and I'd been meaning to learn how to play. And I began spending a little time teaching myself and going to these lessons um, teaching myself the guitar. And let me tell you, I absolutely love it. I love it. It's a great way for me to decompress. Uh, I think I'm learning pretty quickly, but I have to tell you this, I'm definitely not I'm ready to be up on stage here at Kessler anytime soon <laughs> with my guitar playing. Um, but music is a universal part of the human experience. And anyone can make music. I'm living proof of that. <laughs> but learning chords and progressions has been a humbling reminder of just how much talent it takes and what it takes to be a musician. Like all the best endeavors in life, creating great music requires a love of the craft, but it also requires a lot more than that. It takes discipline, it takes dedication. Of course, it takes creativity, but it also takes chemistry, a good team. It takes a unique perspective and it takes time and support. As a city, Dallas has offered that support to musicians over the course of its rich history. And we've helped foster an incredible music scene anchored in places like Deep Ellum and talented artists who are known the world over. 
Dallas first established itself in the early years of the 20th century as one of the birthplaces of the blues. Again, Deep Ellum. And this city has been a musical haven ever since. We've helped bring this world the likes of Lead Belly, Blind Lemon Jefferson, Whistling Alex Moore, T-Bone Walker, known as Oak Cliff T-Bone Walker, Steve Miller, Boz Skaggs, Roy Hargrove, one of my personal favorites, went to school with his daughter, Johnny Taylor, Dusty Hill, Ray Charles, called this place home for a while in South Dallas, Erica Badu, District 7, Nora Jones, St. Vincent, the Chicks, who I went to high school with, the DOC from West Dallas, my hood, Meatloaf, Charlie Pride, Stevie Ray and Jimmy Vaughn from Oak Cliff, Kimball High School. And that's just a partial list, but it sounds like a Hall of Fame list, doesn't it? it? Sounds like that could be a Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Our venues are equally vaunted in this city. For decades, the stages of Deep Ellum, the Cedars, downtown Dallas, Fair Park, and right here where we are right now in Oak Cliff, have routinely hosted some of the top musical artists working today. They stand today as both living monuments to the zeitgeist of bygone eras and platforms for the music of today and tomorrow. This music-friendly community certification that we just received recognizes all of those many contributions to our state and to our national and international culture and music scene. And this designation is also a promise about our city's future. As long as I'm mayor, we're going to care about the fun stuff too, guys. We're gonna to continue to work collaboratively to foster our music economy and help our artists and venues in the years to come, especially as we emerge from this pandemic. The music scene here in Dallas is going to recover and it's gonna reverberate for years to come. And we're gonna to continue to be a place where people can pick up an instrument with absolutely no talent in my case, but pick up an instrument and bring music to not just this city, but to the entire world. So I wanna say thank you to everyone who made this certification possible. All of my colleagues, everyone at Visit Dallas, all of our city staff who participated in this process. Thank you to the Texas Music Office and the Governor's Office for the certification of this wonderful day for our city. And I wanna thank you all for being here. And with that, I'm gonna turn it back over to Brendan. So thank you very much. Mayor, thank you so much for that. That was incredibly well said. Dallas has left an indelible mark on the music industry, American music, and it's gonna to continue to do so under your leadership and through this program. We're, we're so thrilled to say that you guys are now partners with us as we continue to grow Texas' music scene. I wanna say thanks to my colleague Chip Adams for taking us uh, to the finish line and now over the finish line. Chip's gonna be a great advocate for Dallas as we move forward. We're thrilled to have him working on this program. The Texas Music Office and the Governor's Office are thrilled to present this certification today, and we're thrilled to partner with Dallas, and we're so happy to move forward as we take this local industry community to brand new places and encourage brand new people to get involved in a, an industry that will now be better heard from, uh, validated, and respected, and supported. Thank you so much on behalf of the Texas Music Office, the Office of the Governor. We're so thrilled to be working with Dallas. Hope you have a wonderful day, and we look forward to what this program is going to net for Dallas. Thank you.